Hi everyone, good evening. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Closing out the night with 2019-2020 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey. It's a 16 box master case. Pick your team number four. We're also giving away a box of 2019-2020 uh, Upper Deck SP Authentic. You got All you have to do is buy at least three teams. Every three teams you buy is one entry. So if you buy three teams, you get one entry. Six teams, two entries. Nine teams, three entries, so on and so forth. No vet comments, ship. Um, and a lot of fun stuff out of here. So let's get to it. It's gonna be a, an hour and a half break. So we're gonna actually do an autograph recap at the end. So if you're looking for that, just fast forward to the end. If you're watching live, you're stuck with me. Pick your team four, 2019-2020, Upper Deck SB Authentic Hockey on the fourth Thursday already in June. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Rory with that double last spot mojo. Rory usually doesn't doesn't uh, purchase hockey, ladies and gentlemen. But he was saying that uh, that there's just not a lot of value in this. So good rookie classes. He loves SP Authentic and the Cup. There's the case right there. We're doing both inners. Four boxes at a time, half an inner at a time. All right, and I think we got a we got a crew of people watching here. I think uh, I think Steve Birch is in here. I know Wade Preston is in here. Rory is here watching live. Will, are you in this? Will Christian's in this? Yep. Who else is here? Anyone else here watching this break live? If you're watching the replay, hello. Thanks for watching the replay. You know, this break would be a lot. I feel like I could, I would be able to save 20 minutes on this break if the packaging was a little bit better. Cards inside the packs? Great. Fantastic. Good job, Upper Deck. This right here, though. Gotta, gotta look out for the group breakers here a little bit. These aren't the worst packs I've had to deal with, though. Oh, sorry. These aren't the worst packs I've had to deal with. They're also not my favorite. Wade says, thanks to the team for keeping this at, at a master case level. Is that preferred? Why, why is that? I, I have no idea why. Is, is that preferable over the inner case level? It is. Says, wait, why? Educate me. some space here. All right, young guns, <laughs> very young gun, David Ayers. All right, so I'm going to breeze through these a little quickly. I think we did a few cases yesterday, so I think you're familiar with these cards by now. So once again, vet commons don't ship. We're going to breeze through these, and obviously we'll hold on the, obviously those limited cards will ship, inserts will ship. And there's Rasmus Sandin, Sandin. No idea where he goes. 
Come on, computer. All right, there we go. He's a young gun, Rory. Uh, he is a Maple Leaf, Toronto Maple Leaf. The David Ayers Young Guns go, of course, goes to Michael Lang in Carolina. Maple Leaves for Troy, Troy Rimmer and the Toronto Maple Leaves. He easily has to be the youngest, the oldest young gun, right? Another one, there's Trent Frederick. Who is a Boston Bruin. He's always been a Bruin. All right. That goes to Stephen Birch. Birch on the board. Birch looking for uh, oars. Gotcha. So you like to have the team for the Master Case because you think you have a better chance for hunting the future watch and potentially completing the bounty. I got gotcha. you. Are these, are these your thoughts too, Will Christian? It's just, I don't know the hockey, ladies and gentlemen, so, so you gotta, you got to tell me. I think we probably, I feel like Nick probably, Nick sets up all of these. So I'm sure Nick had the same thoughts as well. Our first autograph is William Carlson for the Vegas Golden Knights. That will be for uh, Rory and the Vegas Golden Knights. Spectrum FX. As well, going to Toronto, that will be for Troy. All right, next one. Yeah, I think in sets like this, which is kind of reminiscent of maybe like a Series 1 or Bowman even, you know, where it's not, not hit heavy, it is probably best to do like bigger cases on this kind of stuff. It's the hit heavy products which are probably easier for us to split up if necessary. Gotcha. Okay, Will Will likes this because the full cases because he can try to chase some of the some of the sets and whatnot. All right, and you can see more hits overall. Fair enough, folks. Good luck, everybody. Any, uh, I, I know we talked about this yesterday, but has there been any... I know news can be fluid, very fluid every day. Any additional news on host cities, hub cities for hockey? I was actually doing a tiny bit of very casual research, but I saw that there... And I think someone mentioned this last night, too, that there are some difficulties in maybe having a host city be in Canada because of visa stuff and fears over COVID and various travel restrictions between both countries and whatnot. So maybe both host cities will be here in the States with us. Ooh, nice. So the first 50 cards on these Future Watch cards, they inscribe, the players inscribe their... Uh, their debut, which I think is pretty neat. 
007 out of 999 for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Troy, Maple Leafs starting strong here. Another autograph, Ryan Kuffner to 999, Red Wings. Detroit, that's going to be for Rory. Michael Stevens, Young Guns for the Tampa Bay Lightning, Troy. That's to 100. That'll be for the Rangers, Drew Doughty for the Kings, and Philip Myers. Philippe Myers? Philip Myers? Fred Myers? Future Watch. Level 1 for the Flyers. That's going to go to Chad. This will go to the Kings. Uh, Clint Allison with little L.A. Kings. Is that recent news? Wade saying that the big news is that they'll reseed teams after each round. That's interesting. I feel like that's what that's a holy grail reseeding. Is that a holy grail for like NFL? Have they been talking about that reseeding? Yo, Carlos Stallone in your chat. John Carlos Stallone, are you in the chat? I didn't. Have, I haven't seen him. I think he listens, but he he doesn't. He's not in the chat too often. Is he? He's in the hit draft, and it's, oh. it's breaking right now. Hit draft, John Stallone. If you're listening, the hit draft, hit draft. High end hit draft is on at Jaspie's Breaks Instagram Live. If you uh, are not present, we will uh, we will select for you based on monetary value per the item description. When are you, are you starting now? When are you starting? Yeah, I talked to you, but... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So again, if you are in the hit draft and you're listening to me, you're in the wrong place. Go to go to Instagram live, at Jaspies Breaks. No brackets. What is the advantage of reseeding? Wait, how? I, I guess maybe I don't even know how reseeding works. How? So if eight plays a one, and eight beats one, is oh they'll they'll reseed by re okay okay. They would just reseed by record. Is that how it happens? They'll reseed by record. George says it'll finally be different matchups from previous playoffs. Favors top teams more. So as teams get knocked out, they'll reseed by their regular season records. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. I'm wrapping my head around it. I'm wrapping my head around it. I'm not too bright, ladies and gentlemen. Some things are tough for me. Right, makes regular season count. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Do we like that? Is that controversial or do we like that? Right, yeah, so number one team, the team with the best record is always playing the team with the, with the, with the, 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 the I guess the worst playoff record, the worst of the best teams, the worst of the playoff teams, which favors the top teams, right, because they're always playing the quote-unquote worst team. Now, I think someone mentioned, maybe it was Will or somebody, was saying that these patch autos are one per inner case. So there's Joel Les, Les Esperance, 001 to 100, the first one ever made. Dallas Stars, that'll be for Mark L, two-color patch and on-card autograph. Nice, good-looking stuff here. There's Trevor Moore, 506 to 999, Toronto Maple Leafs. That'll be for another one for Troy in Toronto. Will Christian not a fan of the reseeding? Brock Besser, uh, George Dang, a fan. There's Nick Kamano, 
Another star for Mark. Ovechkin and Alexander Volkov, Tampa Bay, uh, Troy, Ovechkin, Caps, Mark, Mark L. And we got Igor Shesterkin, Rangers. That'll be for Chad. Next one. Now Wade with the receding, receding, not like a receding hairline, but receding the teams, playoff teams. He's saying he doesn't think it matters. Whoever's hot still going to be hot. If a hot, hot goalie. Standing on his head, if he gets hot, it's not going to matter what seed they are. They'll keep, they'll keep rolling. <laughs> yes, like Jonathan Quick in 2014. We looked up, you know, the, there's that phrase, goalies standing on their heads. We looked that up. Does everyone know where that came from? Some, I, I guess we have hockey fans in this, in this chat for this break, so they might know. Leonard, we are booked for the night, I'm afraid. Take a look at the schedule. Unfortunately, we are booked for the night. This break is an hour and a half. It's going to take us actually past when we go on, when we usually sign off. So apologies. Also, that noir break, ladies and gentlemen, has also been delayed. Because they literally end up on their heads sometimes. No. That's not, that's not where that term came from. There's Miro Heiskanen for the for the stars. That'll be for Mark. George thinks that the that the uh, play in best of five term will have a bigger effect on the playoffs and the reseeding. There's Julian Gauthier for Carolina to one ninety uh, to nine ninety nine. That's for Michael Eng, Carolina. Five hold looking between their legs. No, that's not it either. We'll save those Connor McDavid SP essentials too. I think now someone's going to have to look this up, but I'm 90% sure that there was a rule change in goalies back in the day. There was, there, there was rules back in the day, maybe like 1940s maybe or 50s, where there were only certain... Uh, there was restricted movements for goalies. They could only do so much uh, in the course of a game. And once the rule change happened, the commissioner, I believe, I think it was the commissioner at the time, said goalies can do this, that, they can do whatever they want to. Now they could stand on their heads if they wanted to. There's Kale Fleury, Montreal. 
Uh, Canadiens is Rory, and then the Florida Panthers, Troy. Barkov. So then that developed into standing on your head as a term for outstanding, almost magical goalkeeping. Uh, the Canadiens was was Kale Fleur, Spectrum FX card. There's Kale, Kale Gay, Kale Gay, a Los Angeles Kings young gun card going to Clint, and. First half of the inner first inner case is done. Here's the second half of the first inner case. Wade Wade Googles and confirms that I'm correct. Now tell me, wait, if you if you still have that page up, uh, what was the rule? To, like, what was the rule before? Like, how were the that I I didn't get that far. How were the goalkeepers' movements restricted? Why were they restricted? How were they restricted? What restrictions were there? I, I just I just liked I just liked how. Uh, the commissioner, whoever it was, was just like, you can, you can do whatever you want. You can stand on your head if you want to. <laughs> if I sided with a hockey team correct, I would. I, I am by default an L.A. Kings fan. I mean, if, if asked, I'd be like, I'm a Kings fan. But I can't really, I don't really say that because, you know, I think it's, it hasn't been since childhood since I owned any King's mer uh, clothing, merchandise. I watch games every once in a while, but... You know, I, I don't really follow it closely enough to, to really... to really say I'm a fan. Oh, was it Frank Calder, the president of the NHL back then? There you go. Rory, you have a tall order for me? Well, as kind of a shorter guy, tall orders are, are a little more difficult for me. We got a sign of the times, John LeClaire. 90s sign of the times. Flyers. That'll go to, who's got Philadelphia? That'll go to Chad Sylvia. And we've got Ilya Mikheyev, 977 out of 999. Maple Leafs, another Toronto Maple Leaf for Troy. We got Joachim Blitchfeld, and we got another sign of the times, Timo Meyer. San Jose Sharks, Rory, last spot mojo. There is an eight-way sign of the times, all-time greats. I need to pull that for you. Well, you need the randomizer to work out for you, unless you bought all eight teams. Were you sharp enough to buy all to eight teams? John Tavares for Troy and Toronto. Blitchfeld goes to Rory and the Sharks. And I like I like these acetate ones too. It's Ilya Mikheyev again. Young Guns Acetate. 
another Toronto Maple Leaf for Troy. All right, you have 50% of the teams in that eight-way auto. Okay, I like those odds. Good odds. Oh, back to goalies. Wade is saying that the, the, the actual rule change was that goalies could leave their feet. Before that change, goalies could not allow their skates to leave the ice. So th that, that means... That started the uh, that started the what you call it the leg kicks and whatnot, right? Right, no butterfly. All right, we got Yakov Trinan. Predators. That'll be for Will Christian. Uh oh. Philip? Or do I have to go over there? Let's call Nick. going there. Uh, and uh, Ryan Redmond, no. Mosaic, this is the last break of the night. Because we were only maybe halfway through, a little over halfway through the first inner case of this 16 box break. And I've got another probably another hour to go, which will actually take me a little bit over where we're usually at. end the show so this is the last break of the night if you're just joining us folks this is the last break of the night uh, people who are waiting for noir basketball we apologize we don't have that we thought we did we don't so if you bought into like those especially those number blocks if you bought into those thinking it was gonna break tonight feel free to shoot us an email uh, jazbeescasebreaks at gmail.com and we can sort that out for you. Otherwise, it'll probably be one of the first breaks tomorrow. We'll fast track it too. It'll, it'll be on the fast track. Sorry about that. All right, so the actual quote regarding goal, goalies were, uh, so the quote was, I don't care how they make saves. They can stand on their heads. Rory also mentioned that he says a Connor McDavid autograph would do. So certainly some tall orders from Rory. 
There's Adam Fox, a Fox in the Box. To 999 Rangers, that'll be for Chad. And we got Tobias Yornfot to 999. That will be for Clint, who has the Kings. Young Guns, Adam Johnson, Penguins. There's Mark Andre Fleury. You can stand on your head, Mark Andre Fleury. And then Blaise Lizotte for the Kings. Blake Lizotte, Future Watch. For Clint and Vegas, that will be Rory with the Golden Knights. Numbered card there. All right, next box. Oh, Derek, you hit the bird and magic in the in the uh, hit draft, the hit pack, high end hit pack draft thing. Good, congrats, nice. Well, well worth the wait. That's what I'm hearing, that those future packs, future watches that is, are, are, are good money. Yeah, a lot of value, a lot of value in this. Nice, good. I'm glad the hit packs delivered. Four fifty a pack, they better deliver. <laughs> Mark Andre Fleury's a character? Uh, that was Joachim Nygaard for the Oilers. It'll ship. It's on the. It's on the. It'll ship. It'll be sleeved and top loaded pile. Well, unfortunately, Derek Noir is now off the table. We thought we had a case, turns out we didn't have the case. And I think we were going to try to go and get a case, but there were no cases to get. So we're going to have to push that to sometime tomorrow. There's 82 out of 999, Giovanni Smith for the Red Wings. That's going to go to Rory in Detroit. There's Igor Shersturkin to 9.99. That is for the Rangers. That'll be for Chad Sylvia. <laughs> I can't, Roy. This is like an hour and a half break. Can't linger on all these guys. Connor Clifton. There's Rasmus Dahlin, Spectrum FX, but I assure you they will be safe, they will be shipped, they will be sleeved and top loaded before they go out. Connor Clifton will go to the Bruins. Steve Birch with that one. Now, we, unfortunately, we won't be squeezing any breaks in, Brian Zeller. After this break, we'll be. Uh, 
will be done for the night. J.C. Bodine. Good luck, boys and girls. So this is the last, so then we're gonna dive into the next inner case. After we finish the last box out of this inner case. Stephen Bayless, do we know the order that got made? No, I don't. I uh, I uh, have nothing to do with the shipping side of things, I'm afraid. So, all shipping questions, I'm useless. <laughs> Sorry. But you can shoot us the email, jazpiescasebreaks at gmail.com. And when our team comes in in the morning, they'll be able to... To, uh, get you an answer if if uh, if they have one. I know. Sorry, Derek. No noir today. We thought we had it. We don't have it. We've been kind of shuttling because of the some of the the looters ruining things around here. We've been shuttling some a lot of product back and forth from from here in a safe location that we call the vault. So, it's Mario Ferraro, Malkin, Nicholas Haig. So I think in that shuttling back and forth, we thought we had that extra case, which is why Nick posted it. Turns out we didn't. We're gonna get it tomorrow. Um, there you go. What's up, Jack? What's going on? And there's a Blitchfield to $9.99, an autograph for Rory and the Sharks, one of his last spot mojo teams. And there's Alex DeBrincat for the Blackhawks. I don't like that little dent right there. I don't know. Would Upper Deck even replace a card like that? S SP Essentials, Alex DeBrincat autograph. I don't even know. It doesn't look like it's actually... Anyway, it's to, to, to 99. Blackhawks, that'll be for... For Wade. John Gibson. All right, and next inner. Another 
four boxes right here. Wade, do you want do you want to do you want to try to deal with upper deck? About I don't know if I don't know how friendly they are about replacements or if that's significant enough for them to even do it. But if you want, I could send you one of these UPC codes that doesn't tear apart in my hands, if you'd like. All right, all right, thanks for understanding, Derek. MK, what's going on? Regarding the deadline for the break credits, only applicable to spots available for straight up purchase in the eligible break, correct? Yes, unless otherwise stated in the, the uh, the description of the of the break credit. I think noir basketball pick your teams and number blocks count. I think the other ones are only straight up. I think only the winners from the cello packs are eligible in the basketball mixer, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know. The rest is in the. <laughs> I don't remember the rest. But I. Not sure. That deadline's in about 20 minutes, so there's like two cello packs and then like a Bowman Jumbo and something else to sell out. So unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to... I mean, I guess it could happen, but I don't know if it's going to happen in the next 20 minutes. You'll try it? All right. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap this pack around your Debrin cat to see. Okay. From what I understand, they usually do ask for a little UPC code. So uh, there's Caden Primo to nine ninety nine. That's for the Canadiens. That'll be for Rory. Jake Bean, 759 to 999 autograph future watch card for the Carolina Hurricanes. That'll be for Michael Eng. Connor McDavid, Spectrum FX. That is for Rory and the Edmonton Oilers. There you go, Rory. So anyone that purchases a spot straight up in the basketball mixer should be good to go. Yes. Provided the other breaks that need to fill sell out in the next 20 minutes. But yes. So if you bought a straight up spot, you are, you would be eligible, are eligible, would be eligible when and if all the other requisite breaks fill. Kelvin, what's going on? How are you? Young Guns, Kale. For the Kings, that'll be for Clint. Good luck. We're halfway through the first half of the second inner case. Doing well, the, the Kelvin. Thanks for asking. The crew's been keeping us busy. 
I live a little somewhat close to the promenade in Santa Monica, so it was a little, little scary for a night, but in the end, everything, everything ended up being okay. And uh, I guess we're just looking forward to opening back up to the public once again. Soon, someday. No, we've been going off um, the, the normal times. I think the curfew has just been, uh, the curfew has just been, I think if they said if you're going to and from work, you're okay. So where'd you work in Santa Monica, Will? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, I live on, I live on Euclid, which is essentially uh, 13th Street. So that's about kind of 10, 10 beach blocks. Where's Tal Talula's? Not, I don't even know what that is. Where, where is that? Sign of the Times, Pierre-Luc Dubois, 93 out of 99 for the Columbus Blue Jackets, Troy. Oh, it's one of the Rustic Canyon. That Rustic Canyon I do know. I know the Rustic Canyon restaurant group. Joel, Le Esperance, 825 to 999 Dallas Stars. Oh, it's in the Palisades. Palisades are fine. It was just it was just that it was basically like ocean and pier. That area is where most of the madness happened. Well the peaceful protests were happening on on like Ocean Ave near the pier. And then the the looting was happening just right on Third Street, third and fourth street, right behind. So I don't know. A little, uh, there's a little sort of raised eyebrows over where the police presence should have been. <laughs> there's John Marino for the Penguins, that'll be for Ron. And there's John Gibson for the Ducks, that'll be for Michael Tuckley. But yeah, so... I think things got out of hand pretty quickly. The helicopters, like news helicopters, and that's for the Islanders Auto to nine ninety nine. David Ayers, Young Guns for Carolina. That'll be for Michael Ng. So like three news helicopters, three police helicopters above my apartment. The rest of the night, some some small businesses down the down the way from me. Were, were smashed up as, as sort of people were kind of pushed out of that Santa Monica area and pushed west. So it was, it was, it was wild for sure. But next day, you know, a lot of, a lot of, the, a lot of the people in the area, a lot of residents came out with brooms and paint we're painting up graffiti and helping clean up glass and whatnot from broken windows and stuff. So helping put up put up boards for windows that hadn't been broken. So that was kind of the, a nice thing to see. People coming out. Yeah, tier one tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Pre-order now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Court Kings basketball tomorrow, too. But yeah, I think in subsequent days, there have just been, there have just been some uh, scattered looting here and there. Probably nothing, probably nothing terribly out of the ordinary in LA, but just covered a lot more intensely because because of what happened in West Hollywood and in Santa Monica. I guess with, with larger groups of people, but... Otherwise, 
I actually really haven't been keeping track of whatever happened today, but I think for the most part, things have been pretty peaceful, and I think, you know, so. Yeah, Melrose, Melrose was definitely, was definitely uh, messed up a little bit. I used to work along there too, so I know a lot of like the coffee shops and liquor stores and bakeries that are around there, so. All right, and there's the second patch auto is Nico Hersher. I've heard of him, 47 out of 50. That will be for New Jersey, right? He's a he's a devil, yes, he is a devil. And that goes to Troy and the New Jersey Devils. There you go. Nice. I have no idea about stature. Someone tell me where Joel, where does Joel Farabee go? I'll look it up. Um, he is a flyer. Thanks, Jack. He, uh, so he's going to go to Chad Sylvia with the Philadelphia Flyers. Another Connor McDavid up there. We got Elias Patterson for the Vancouver Canucks. That's going to go to Wade Preston with that Spectrum FX. And there's Joey Decord, Spectrum FX for Ottawa Senators. That's going to be for Troy and the Senators. There you go. Young Guns, Adam Brooks. A little bit of packaging on there. Maple Leafs. Troy has Toronto too, I think. Yeah, he does. Yeah, so Kelvin, when do you actually get to go back to school? All right. Almost done with the first half of the second inner. You got to play the whistle, Rory. You know this. Play to the whistle. You know what I want to happen in the, in the uh, Stanley Cup playoffs? I want, I want what's good for the hobby. I think Connor McDavid winning it. Hashtag good for the hobby. All right. So any any decision any day now says Calvin. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't think we have we have even discussed like what what. Like it's going to happen to college sports, you know. I think college football is determined to to start on time, with or without fans. So just bring this, the athletes back on campus and have them play games, possibly in empty stadiums. Or if worst case scenario, you push. You push college football and basketball to the spring, make it a spring. I mean, that'd be kind of wild too.
Good luck, everybody. USC, Jack saying, announced yesterday they'll go with the traditional in-person classes, huh? Interesting. Yeah, I go back and forth on all this. It's like... It's John Klingberg. I mean, at some point, it is... I you know, at some point, you got to get things open to the public, right? Sign of the Times for the stars. I'm going to go to Mark. There's Vitaly Abramov. 455 at a 999 for Ottawa. That'll be for Troy. Yeah, it's tricky. It's tricky, Calvin. I mean, yeah, once you're in, are you locked in there forever? That's a 9.99 poker in. And there's Andre Vasilevsky, Spectrum FX for the Tampa Bay Lightning. That'll be for Troy. There's Caden Primo for the Canadiens Level 2 Future Watch for Montreal. That goes to Rory. Young Guns, there's Igor, again for the Rangers, that'll be for Chad. Right, in dorms, everything spreads, right? I mean, not if these kids were, were practicing good hygiene. Instead of everyone sneezing into their hands and then wiping their faces and then wiping other faces. <laughs> wiping their hands on handrails. All right. Final four boxes. <laughs> right. College students, good hygiene, huh? Says Will. Fat chance, right? Yeah, you're a swimmer, right, Kelvin? Just, just live in, just live in the pool. You, you can be a water Pokemon. Just spend your time in the water. Yeah, I'm pretty sure chlorine kills COVID. Hi, Patrick. No, Noir did not have... Well, A, Noir wasn't going to happen until after this break anyway. But unfortunately, we discovered that we don't have that Noir case. So I apologize. That'll, that's going to have to be pushed to tomorrow. If you want a refund, shoot us an email, jazbeescasebreaks at gmail.com, and we'll take care of that for you tonight. We thought we had... We've been shuttling... Just because of the, the issues happening in Los Angeles, we've been shuttling high-dollar cases back and forth. And in doing that, we thought we had that extra, that, that last noir case, but unfortunately we did not. We thought we could pick up a case. Unfortunately, we could not. So we apologize about that.
Wow, there's a sign of the times, Eric Stahl. An old school design. That's for Minnesota. That'll be for Sanford and the Wild. It's pretty cool. And we've got Alexander Volkov, who kind of printed his name on there. Thanks for your understanding, Patrick. I appreciate that. That distributors in Orange County, we were going to drive down there, and they're like, we thought we had one too. We don't. So it kind of became a thing. So I apologize. Um, well, I go live at 1 o'clock Pacific tomorrow. I don't know when we're going to get that case. But whenever we do, it'll be, it'll be fast-tracked to the front of the line whenever we get it in. Unless it's not sold, unless people get refunds and it's not sold out. But I'm back at 1 o'clock Pacific, 4 o'clock Eastern. So hopefully we'll have it by then. If not, we'll have it soon. There's Jake Debrusque. Debrusque? Jake. Jake D. For Boston. That's going to go to Stephen Birch. And there's a McDavid Limited right here as well for uh, Rory and the Oilers. There's Artemi Panarin, New York Rangers, Chad Sylvia. And a numbered Young Guns card, Upper Deck High Gloss, Nick Kamano, 10 out of 10. That looks a special. That goes to Mark L. There you go. That's pretty cool. Those are rare. Big cards, says Rory. There's Nick Kamano again. That looks cool. I like that gold foil. Looks really sharp on that. I don't. I have no idea if he's a good player or not. But people are saying saying it's a big card. So there you go. SP Essentials, Connor McDavid for Rory, and another Connor McDavid here. And that Leon Dreisaitl will go. This hockey break take, yeah, this hockey break takes an hour and a half. I am, uh, I am at one hour and three minutes right now, and probably take me another twenty minutes to do this, and then another, you know, a few minutes to do the randomizer for the box that we're giving away. All in all, it takes about one hour and thirty minutes. And there you go, Card Blasters. Congrats, man. The guys are the guys in the chat are saying that's a late 90s design. So, it's pretty cool. Yeah, Tyler, Tyler Brenner. This is a 16-box master case break. So, yeah, it does, does take a minute or two. And we're, we're done for the night after this, ladies and gentlemen. This, we're actually, so we usually end, I usually end the stream right around now. So we are done for the night. We'll be back at 1 o'clock Pacific. Uh, oh, what, what makes sense then, Tyler? Sorry. But yeah, we usually end right around now, or my shift usually ends right around now. Uh, we will go a little bit later tomorrow, I think. I think Nick Jaspi will do Nick at Night tomorrow because it's a new release day. We've been so we've been so busy going back and forth on a lot of things and uh so all this extra work happening. Oh, we will we should have a Nick at Night tomorrow. Right, yeah, yeah. 16 boxes, right. Takes over an hour. Yeah. Now, I wasn't lying to you guys in the schedule. It takes a while. But you know what? As far as... As far as an hour and a half long break goes... I don't know. I feel like there's still... 
There's more eye candy in SP Authentic than there is in another. Like if I was doing a Bowman baseball hobby. Hobby edition. I love the jumbo edition. The hobby editions. I feel like I feel every minute of that hour and 30 minutes that it takes. <laughs> this one, I, for whatever reason, is not, is not, doesn't feel like that. At a $9.99, Brandon Gignac and the New Jersey Devils. That'll be for Troy. Master Case Random Team? Maybe. Maybe. And we've got a Sign of the Times 90s autograph, Ron Hextall for the Flyers. That's going to be for Chad, Chad Sylvia. Sam Lafferty to 9.99. We got Sidney Crosby, Spectrum FX, and a uh, and another Penguin, Teddy Bluger. There you go, Ron Coon with the Penguins. Coon. There's Blitchfeld, Young Guns. Sharks, that'll be for Rory. Connor McDavid. Authentic winners for Rory and the Oilers. And we got Young Guns, Yakov Trinan for Nashville. That'll be for Will Christian and the Predators. Two boxes to go. Are we starting early for a tier one release? I don't, I don't know actually. I wasn't planning on it. And I think Nick is planning on staying late. And it's Jason Jaspi's weekend. So I would say no. I think we're gonna start at our normal one o'clock time slot. One o'clock Pacific, four o'clock. Eastern. Yeah, Patrick, definitely check back in with us 1 o'clock Pacific tomorrow, 4 o'clock Eastern, and then we'll uh, we'll have a better idea of what we, where we're at with Noir, where we're at with a schedule, and what's going to be breaking.
What are these cards, by the way? That I kind of like. I kind of like that design that they have there, with the the full photo. We got Future Watch. I like these too. Future Watch, Kale and Macar. That is for the Colorado Avalanche, Jeremy Merle. With that, wait, I thought you got the the Avs in this one. No. I've heard of this guy though. Nice one, Jeremy Merle, and the Colorado Avalanche. To three ninety nine. Nice Future Watch, Kale Macar. And we got Mathau Joseph, seven ninety nine out of nine ninety nine, autograph future watch. That'll be for Tampa Bay, Troy. Patrick Kane, Spectrum FX, and Rem Pitlick. Future Watch, level one for Will Christian, Preds. Patrick Kane, Chicago, Wade. Young Guns, Adam Warner, Colorado. That'll be for Jeremy Merle. There you go, there's the focus. down there too. All right, last box coming up. We'll do the randomizer for the box winner. Uh, and then we will uh, do a quick autograph recap. Do an auto recap, and then uh, and then that's it. <laughs> we'll be done with the break. Thanks everybody for uh, keeping the chat active during this long break. I appreciate that. Helps make feel the break go a little bit more quickly. So thank you. And thank you to everyone patiently watching. Appreciate that. Uh, I think I saw more SP Authentic. Unless I'm confusing with another case, but keep your eyes out for more. SP Authentic Hockey on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Good luck to everybody. Team four. All right, nice. This is the last break of our night, folks. Again, if you're just joining us thinking that Noir is about to happen, I apologize. Noir is not going to happen. That has been delayed till tomorrow. We thought we had a case. We did not. Apologies for that. Um, if, uh, if you don't want to wait till tomorrow, we'll be back at 1 o'clock Pacific, 4 o'clock Eastern. If you don't want to wait, we'll be happy to, to get a refund going for you late tonight or early tomorrow. Um, no, why are there no personal box on jaspies.com? Because we don't have our full stock here. Kevin Tenland. There's Jack Eichel for the Sabres. Because of all the craziness that's been happening, we have moved a lot of high-value inventory. Matt DeLeo with the Sabres. 
to a safe house to, to the Jaspi vault. The secret, secret vault. This is a level two, by the way, for the Rangers, Chad Sylvia. So instead of shuttling all that back and forth every night, we're just keeping, we're just doing hit packs and some other things on the personal website for now. And then we'll, we'll ramp back up into normal, normal website stuff uh, next, next week, I'm sure. Same things seem to be calming down significantly, so. I mean, turns out everything in this area has actually been quite tame. <laughs> so there's J.C. Bodine. So it's been quite tame. Um, but, you know, better, better safe than sorry, we thought. We were taking the computer down every night, too. But then after a couple days, we we're like, eh. <laughs> Can always get a new computer. Can always get a case of a limited product. So yeah, so that's why it's just been kind of thin all around. Look at this, Dirk Graham, sign of the times, '80s, Blackhawks, Wade Preston. Is this uh, Wade Preston wanted a monster in the last box? So I don't know if this guy's a monster or not, but it looks cool. I don't know anything about hockey, ladies and gentlemen, but how about that? Is that I'm waiting for Wade to react. <laughs> and Morgan Frost, not a monster, says Jack B. Okay. All right. Sorry, Wade. Uh, Morgan Frost, is this guy a mod or no? Chad Sylvia with the Flyers. All right. Oh, it's Kirby Doc that you want. All right, that's right. All right, not not a monster. All right. Well, it still looks cool. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team four in the books. Thanks, everyone. Frost was a high pick, though, says Jack. So it's interesting. All right. So maybe he ends up being a somebody. All right. Let's give away. A box of SP Authentic. That's from a different case, and it'll be shipped to you sealed. Whoever the winner is, it'll be shipped to you sealed. So you have to buy at least three teams this time. Three teams gets you one entry. Six teams gets you two entries. So on and so forth. So Mark bought three teams. That's one entry. Rory bought six teams, so that's two entries. Birch bought three teams, that's one entry. Troy bought six teams, that's two entries. Wade bought three teams, that's one entry. Still have a shot at a box, Wade. All right, one out of seven. One in seven chance. One spot in seven will land the box. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it five and a three, eight times. Name on top gets it after eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, goes to Troy. Great break for you today, Troy. You picked the right ones this time. Appreciate you getting in. You're going to get a sealed box of 2019-2020 SP Authentic Hockey. And here is a quick recap. This is the way it went. Nice Kale McCarr. People always seem to want him. That 10 out of 10 Young Guns was cool. That's my favorite autograph right there, if you can call it that. That was a Joel Farabee. Nico Herscher patch auto. We had a little, almost like a, I don't know, almost like someone at the factory put their thumb right there. Almost looks like a fingernail dent, doesn't it? Because it's not a, not my fingernail. They're well trimmed. But we'll send uh, the Blackhawks this UP. I don't know. We'll we'll see, we'll see what we'll see what Upper Deck says about that. Maybe they'll they'll send you something back. 
in return or I guess could maybe say sorry. <laughs> Actually, it's a person at the factory, not necessarily upper deck, but uh, and that's Trent Frederick and that's Rasmus Sandin. And there you go. That was the break, boys and girls. Big thanks to, once again to everybody here for getting to the action on Pick Your Team 4. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Have a great night. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.